Alice in Wonderland Alice was growing very tired, listening to her sister Red. Just as her eyes began to close, she saw a white rabbit hurry by, looking at his pocket watch and talking to himself. Alice though that was very curious indeed a talking rabbit with a pocket watch. So, she followed him into a rabbit hole beneath a big tree. And down she fell, down to the center of the world it seemed. When Alice landed with a thump, the white rabbit was just disappearing through a door which was much too small for her. Alice drank from a bottle on the table and shrank to a very tiny size. But now she could not reach the key to the little door. At last Alice found a way to get through the little door. Seated on a bottle, she floated into Wonderland on a mysterious sea. On through Wonderland Alice went, looking for the white rabbit. She met two jolly fellows, Tweedledum and Tweedledee. They did not know the white rabbit, so Alice hurried on. At a neat little house in the woods, at last she met the white rabbit himself. The white rabbit sent Alice into his little house to hunt for his gloves. But instead she found some cookies labeled take one. So she did. The cookie made Alice grow as big as the house. What a sight! White Rabbit and his friend Dodo thought she was a dreadful monster. Alice picked a carrot from White Rabbit's garden. Eating it made her small again, so small that she was soon lost in a forest of grass. Alice found herself in a garden of talking live flowers. There were bread and butterflies and rocking horseflies, too. Alice thought the garden was a pleasant place. But the flowers thought Alice was just a weed, so they would not let her stay. Next Alice met a haughty caterpillar blowing smoke rings. He told Alice to eat his mushroom if she wished to change her size. Alice sampled one side and shot up taller than the treetops, frightening the birds. But another bite made Alice just the right size. Now which way shall I go? Alice wondered. The signposts she found along the path were no help they pointed all over. If I were looking for the white rabbit, I would ask the Mad Hatter, said a grinning Cheshire cat up in a tree. He lives down there. Alice found the Mad Hatter and the March Hare celebrating their unbirthdays at a tea party. She joined them for a while. After that nonsensical tea party, Alice wanted to go home. But none of the strange creatures seemed to know the way. Alice wandered into the Queen's garden. Soon, along came the royal procession. And who should be the royal trumpeter but the white rabbit himself? The Queen of Hearts asked Alice to play croquet. But Alice did not like the look of the game. Off with her head! Cried the Queen. Away Alice ran, while the army of cards gave chase, down all the tangled paths of Wonderland and back to the riverbank. I'm glad to be back where things are really what they seem, said Alice as she woke from her strange wonderland dream. Please subscribe to our channel. See you in our next video.